Well, good morning, South Lake family and friends. Happy Wednesday. So let's read Psalm 143, verses 7 to 10. We're reading again in the message version this month of June. But the psalmist says, verse 7, If you wake me each morning with the sound of your loving voice. What a beautiful thought that is. I'll go to sleep each night trusting in you. Point out the road I must travel. I'm all ears, all eyes before you. Teach me how to live to please you because you're my God. Well, what a beautiful thought this is that, that the Lord would waken us in the morning to the sound of his loving voice. You know, psychologists say we all hear voices that are either ours or someone else's that are sort of in our head. But what a beautiful thought that we would waken each morning to the loving voice of the Lord. You know, the Lord's speaking to you and to me, speaks to us through the night, the scriptures talk about that. And his words to us, other people's voice to us may be one thing, but the Lord's voice to us, his words to us are always loving, always accepting, always gracious and merciful and kind. But notice the connection between love and trust. You see that time and again in scripture, but he says, if you'll wake me in the morning to the sound of your loving voice, then I'll go to sleep each night trusting in you. So it's like throughout my day, because I'm starting my day confident in your love, I'm waking to that sound, then throughout the day, I'm going to be able to trust you more and more and more, even to the very last thought that I have as I'm going to sleep. He goes on, point out the road I must travel. We all have a, a road that we're called to travel, and we need the Lord to direct us in that road. But as for us, he says, I'm all ears, all eyes, all my senses. In other words, Lord, before you are open, I'm listening and I have the vision to look nowhere else but to you. And then teach me how to live. We all need to learn. We don't get it just naturally. It's got to be supernaturally through the Lord teaching us how to live in order to please him. Because why? Finally, he says, because of one thing. And that is because he's God. He's your God. So that's my prayer for you today, South Lake family. Let me pray now. Lord, we commit our day, our way to you. Thank you for this powerful, beautiful thought, Lord, that we would awaken to your loving voice and thereby go to sleep at night trusting in you. Help us to live today in that dimension of your love and your trust, love and faith, and we'll give you all the praise throughout the day. Lord, we ask you to provide for, protect, and direct us, our families, our church family. That's our prayer again this day. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Say amen with me, will you? Well, amen and amen. Well, have a blessed day. I'll look forward to talking to you again in the morning.